Hello everyone, I am Poonam Bagga and we are studying chapter 2 whole numbers. Up till now in this chapter we have learnt about natural numbers starting from 1, then we learnt about whole numbers starting from 0 and then we learnt how to add, subtract or multiply these numbers on a number line. Later we took on the properties of whole numbers, mainly the commutative property of addition and multiplication, then the associative property of again addition and multiplication. Then we learnt that how multiplication is distributive over addition and also over subtraction. Then we learnt about closure property and came to know that 0 is the additive identity and 1 is the multiplicative identity. Later on we saw some patterns in whole numbers in which we took the numbers in the form of dots and then we arranged them as some elementary shapes such as a line, a rectangle or a square or a triangle. Then we observed some questions involving patterns and how to solve those questions involving numbers ending with zeros. Today we will be taking up the full chapter collectively and then we will be doing exercise 2.3. The first question is which of the following will not represent zero? Here we are having these four points. We will be solving each one of them separately and then we will see whether we are getting a 0 or not. We take up the first one, clearly 1 plus 0 is 1, we know this, then 0 into 0. Obviously multiplying any number by 0, we get a 0, so it will be equal to 0. Again 0 divided by any number is always 0, remember these few basic points it will be 0 again and then 10 minus 10 upon 2. Again 10 minus 10 is 0 upon 2, it will be again equal to 0. So can we find any point which is not representing 0? Yes, you can see this point A. This is the answer to this question which is not representing 0. So we can say that this A part does not represent 0. Clear to you? Next we take up this question. If the product of two whole numbers is 0, can we say that one or both of them will be 0? Justify through examples. What we are given here is that there are two whole numbers and we are multiplying them. By product we mean the answer that we get on multiplying two numbers, that answer is called as the product. So here we have to multiply two whole numbers such that we get the answer as 0. So let us take two whole numbers, their product it should be equal to 0. We have to see if one of them is taken as 0 what we get. Let us first take one of the numbers to be 0. Let us take this number to be 0 and this number be say of number 5. Now 5 multiplied by 0, is it 0? Yes, it is 0. So this statement is very much correct. Also if I replace this and write 126 into 0, again do I get a 0? Yes, again it will be a 0. If I interchange the order and take up 0 first, and then I multiply it by a number like this. So again will I get a 0? Yes, definitely it will again be a 0. If a number is large also, again if it is multiplied by 0, we get it 0. And here if we take both the numbers to be 0, let us check it also. If we take both the numbers to be 0, again are we getting it 0 back? Yes, 0 multiplied by 0 is again 0. So, therefore, yes, we can say, we can surely say that if the product of two numbers is 0, then one or both of them will be 0. We see that either one of them will be 0 as in this case or both these numbers will be 0 as has been shown in these examples. 
also if we are given a question in which there are large large numbers and many numbers suppose we are having 23 into 5 6 7 4 9 into 0 into 12 let me replace this sign by into so what will we get many of you will start thinking of multiplying these numbers such large numbers but it's of no use just see this zero here anything multiplied by zero is zero back again okay so we can surely say that if the product of two numbers is zero then either one of them will be zero or both the numbers will be zero next we have if the product of two whole numbers is one now can we say that one or both of them will be one so now we are having two whole numbers and their product is given to be one let us take one of them to be equal to one first let us take one number to be one and the other to be not to be one we can take it six now six into one is six is it equal to one no six ones are is six and it is not equal to one here it is not equal to one take one more example we interchange the order 1 into 350 suppose if we multiply what we are getting is again 350 because 1 is the multiplicative identity any number multiplied by 1 we get the same number back so we are getting again 350 and it is not equal to 1 are you seeing that if one of the two numbers is one and the other one is not one then we are not getting the product equal to one let us now take both the numbers equal to one one ones are yes it is now equal to one so we can say that we get the product as one only if both the numbers are one if only one of the two given numbers is one then the product will not be equal to one so here we write write it at the bottom part hence we can say that the product of two numbers will be one only if both the numbers are 1 only in that case when both the numbers are 1 we will get the product equal to 1 otherwise not ok next we have find using distributive property now remember for distributive property we were having two signs one of multiplication and the other one was of addition so here again we will use that property we are having two three digit numbers and it's always difficult to multiply two numbers having three digits so we will break up one of the two numbers here you can see this number is much simpler than this 728 so we can break up any of the two numbers we can break this 728 also and 101 also let us break both the numbers one by one 728 can be broken up as 700 into 28 or 700 plus 28 and then we can write it as 101 or we can break this number as 100 plus 1 this 101 we have written as 100 plus 1 now you can easily examine the two questions which one is easy to deal with obviously this one is easy to solve why because it's always easy to multiply by a hundred and it's always easy to multiply by one whereas this number 28 is a bigger one and it's difficult to multiply this number by 28 so we will not break in this manner we will take up this one we need to decide that which number should be broken up first and it's 101 here now simply multiply these two numbers we will apply the distributive property 728 into 100 plus 728 into 1 we have 
multiplied 728 to 100 and then to 1 or in other words we are distributing this 728 to 100 and then to 1. Now it is very easy 728 into 100 is 72800 and it is also easy 72810 is 728. Add up the two numbers here there are two zeros. So, we can easily write 28 on adding these two parts then 7 and 8 it is 15 1 carat it will be 3 and 73528 is the answer very easy and very fast is not it. Next we have one more question again we need to decide which number should be broken up first and clearly it should be this number we will write 5437 into 1000 plus 1 clearly if we break this number 5000 plus 437 it will be of no use for us it will be still very difficult number it is better to break this number because it is always easy to multiply by 1000 and by 1. So, we are writing in this way again we will apply the distributive property this 5437 will be distributed to 1000 plus it will be distributed to 1 also. Again it is easy to multiply these two numbers 5437 into 1 it will be 5437 and then write the 3 zeros ahead of it and this multiplied by 1 will be the same number again. Now simply add these are 3 zeros so this number will come as it is at the end 437 and then 7 plus 5 it is 12 1 carat it will be 4 and then 4 and then 5. This is the answer let us mark the commas in between so it is 54 lakh 42,437. Then we have this next one 824 into 25 just recall what we had done in our previous class we can write this 25 as 100 upon 4 also let us try in this manner also 100 upon 4 now we can divide this by 4 4 1s are 4 4 2s are 8 then 0 4 6s are 24 we get the answer as 20600 just recall what we learnt in our previous class it is the same way but here in this question we have been asked to solve this by distributive method. So, this method cannot be applied in this particular question but I am giving you this answer so that you get an, a vision that this question can be done in any way this one or the one that we will be discussing just now. Now we are doing with the distributive property again this 25 is an easy number so we will break up this number 25 here we will write 824 into this 25 can be written as 20 plus 5 this is equal to now we will apply the distributive property 824 into 20 plus 824 into 5 now it is easy to multiply by 2 2 4s are 8 2 2s are 4, 2 8s are 16 and just write one 0 also, 5 4s are 20, 2 carat, 5 2s are 10 and 2 it is 12, 1 carat, 5 8s are 40 and 1 it is 41. Now simply add the two numbers, if you want you can write them one below the other, 4 1 2 0, it will be 0, 8 and 2 it is 10, 1 carat, 4 5 6. 6 and 4 it is 10 1 carried 20,600. So, we get the same answer in both the methods but here it was asked to do by distributive property so we will write this as the answer. Next we have this question again you may think that this 125 can be replaced as 1000 upon 8 if we write it in this manner 4275 into 1000 upon 8 it is a correct way but here you will see that this number is not divisible by 8 
so we will find it difficult to solve by this method also we have been asked by doing the question by distributive property so we will not use this method here in this question and we will distribute one of the numbers given here obviously this is an easy number we will divide it into three parts why three parts just have a look instead of writing it as 100 plus 25 we will write it as 100 plus 20 and plus 5. Now it looks easy. Again, we will be distributing this 4275 to each of these three numbers one by one. 4275 into 100 plus 4275 into 20 plus 4275 into 5. Now simply multiply these two numbers it will be 4 2 7 5 and 2 zeros. Multiply these two numbers we will be having this 0 at the end first we write it then 2 5s are 10 1 carried 2 7s are 14 and 1 it will be 15 1 carried 2 2s are 4 and 1 5 2 4s are 8 and now multiply these two numbers 5 5 is a 25, 2 carried, 5 7 is a 35, it will be 37, 3 carried, 5 2 is a 10 and 3, 13, 1 carried, we will get 21. Again, we can write the numbers in this manner 4 2 7 5 0 0, 8 double 5 0 0 and 2 1 3 7 5. Add the three numbers, you will get here 13, 1 carried, 5, 7, 12, 13, 14, 1 carried, 10, 12, 13, 1 carried. It will be 5 lakh 34,375 as the answer. So, it is very easy to multiply in this manner and we get the answer quickly without much difficulty in place of this when we multiply the two numbers directly. As compared to multiplication directly, it is a much better method to do. Then we have this one, again we need to break up any of the two numbers. Here we can break up in this manner also, 500 plus 4 into 35, it is also looking easy. These two numbers are easy to deal with or we can write it in this manner also 504 into 30 plus 5. Both are correct and both will be easy to do. So, we will be taking up this one 504 into 30 by distributive property and 504 into 5. Now, 3 4s are 12, 3 5s are 15 and 1 0 at the end. Here 5 4s are 20 and 5 5s are 25 we get the two results, add the two, you will get 20 and 20 at the back, it will be 40, 5 and 1 it will be 6, 5 and 2 it will be 7 and 1, it is 17,640. You can do in this way also, it will be also very easy to do. Then we have this question, question number 5, study the pattern, here we are having one pattern and then we have to study it and write the next two steps. And we have to find the pattern also working behind it. What pattern are we seeing here is, first we have this number 1, then 1, 2, then 1, 2, 3, then 1, 2, 3, 4, then 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. So, every time a number is being increased. Then we have this 8 as the common number. Here also 1, then 2, then 3, then 4, then 5 and what should be the next number then? 6. Here also we are having first 9, then 98, then 987, then 9876, then 98765 and what should be the next number now? 987654. Are you getting the pattern here? Le now let us write the next two steps that can be there. First one I can write here itself. It should be 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6 into 8 plus it should be now 6, here it should be 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 
4. Are you getting the point here? And what should be the next step? It should be 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7. One more number will be increased into 8 plus now it will be 7 in place of 6 equal to what we will get is 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4 and now 3 will also come here. So, these will be the next two steps this one and then this one. Now, what pattern is underlying here is look at this number it is 1 first then this 12 can be written as 11 plus 1. Let us solve this. I am taking this one. I can write it as 11 plus 1 into 8 plus 2. Let us see what we get. Here we will be applying the distributive property once again. 8 into 11 plus 8 into 1 plus 2 we have. It will be 88 plus 8 plus 2. You will get it as 8 and 2, 10, 98 and yes, we are getting 98 here. Let us consider this part now. Here this 123 can be written as 111 plus 11 plus 1 and then into 8 plus 3. Here let me change this sign, it is wrongly written here we will write it as multiplication sign. So, here we are breaking up this 123 again by applying the distributive property we will get 888 plus 88 plus 8 plus 3 it will be 888 88 8 and 3 it is 11 add the two numbers 8 and 8 16 and 1 17 17 and 1 18 and 1 9 87 and so we are getting this 987. So, this is the pattern behind all this question. We take up this one also 1, 2, 3, 4, 5 into 8, this one which is given in the hint part and then we will see whether we get this answer or not. So, we take up as 1, 2, 3, 4, 5 into 8 plus 5. We will break this number 1, 1, 1, 1, 1 plus 1, 1, 1, 1, 111, 11 and 1, multiply by 8 and then add 5. You will get on distributing this 8 to all these numbers. I am straight away writing in the top to bottom order so that our time is saved and we get the answer quickly without any error. Then we will have 2 8s, then we will have 1 8 and then we will have 5. What I have done is multiply this 8 by 11,111, we will get this number. Multiply 8 by this 1,111, we will get this. Multiply 8 by 111, we will get this. Multiplying by 11, it will be 88. Multiplying by 1, it will be 8 and then plus 5. Let us add all these numbers. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. 5 eights are 40 and 5, it will be 45, 4 carat. 1, 2, 3, 4, 4 8s are 32 and 4 it will be 36, 8 3s are 24 and 3 it will be 27, 8 and 8, 16, 17, 18 and 1, we get 98,765 and this was the answer here 98,765. So, now we can see this pattern behind these type of numbers. I hope it is very much clear to you. So, with this your exercise 2.3 is complete and so your chapter 2 is also complete. Now, you can practice all these questions and try to make up your own questions and solve them using these properties and patterns. Thank you.